Hey everyone, it's Lisa, and today is Thursday, and I thought I would, I've got an appointment today, it's 9.25 now, and I've got an appointment at 11.15, so I had some time, I thought I would do my empties, I don't know if you heard this, but I've got my a trash bag here, TJ Maxx bag, I'm going to put everything in, so a lot of these are going to be kind of redundant, they'll be over and over and you'll have seen them from times before but then that way you'll know I really like them and I'm going to try to not um, review every single thing but if it's noteworthy then I will tell you I wish I had something to like hang right here okay first of all I've told you about these before these are the and I've really got some good sunshine in here this morning so sorry if it's kind of blanking everything out but it's the cotton clouds. These are the cotton squares that I use. They are similar to like the Shiseido. They're much better than anything you can buy at like Target, Walgreens, or anything like that. And I order these off of Amazon. And I usually get like, I think I get six packs at a time. And um, I'll put the link that I use down below. I've ordered them several times and I need to do it now. This, oh, I'm so thankful that I have found a hairspray that I just love it it is the purology color stylist strengthening control zero dulling hairspray for color treated hair and it has like i think it has like some of that protein or something in it which it still has the alcohol but the main thing is it doesn't smell bad um it's got like a real non-offensive smell and it doesn't linger in your hair it is really it keeps my curl because i curl my hair the night before and then i sleep on it so it keeps my curl not crunchy but yet it keeps it it gives it body it's just all in one doesn't seem to like clog up it's just a good hairspray and i can find it at ulta and you know you can use your um like when you get the 20 percent off or something that's what i did and i stocked up on a few of them so love it something else from ulta i've shown you guys these before they're the ulta nail polish remover pads um these I bought on a whim one time. I think I needed like a little bit more money to get the coupon, the $3.50 off or something. So I grabbed them. They're awesome. And they're individually wrapped. So they're good. Like when we go out of town, I usually just throw one in my makeup bag in case I want to take off my nail polish. Because if it chips, I cannot stand it. I'll have to take it off. And um, so love these. And I usually, a lot of times they'll run them by one get one half or buy two get one or something like that and i'll stock up on it okay this is a hand wash that i bought when we were at Saks last i think right around last march i think it was when we went for brooke's birthday and it's the nest um, ocean mist and sea salt liquid soap and it was kind of like a gel and i liked it i think it was like 20 yeah 22 dollars i loved the way it looked and everything but i wouldn't get it again it was um I like the foam better. It just didn't, it was one of those that you put the gel in your hand and it just kind of, I don't know, wasn't that great. I didn't think. Chanel De Volume Mascara. It's funny I should come across this because, you know, I had lash extensions and several of you have asked me why I took those off and the, I loved them. <clears throat> They're high maintenance, but so is anything like that. It would be like hair extensions or gel nails or anything. I mean, it has its pros and its cons. But the main thing is I just love long, thick, dark lashes. And I could not get as much lash look as I could from wearing false lashes. So I decided just to let them wear off and start wearing my false lashes again and um it wasn't as easy to wear my wing liner because it wasn't as easy to apply and then it was harder to take off so all in all for my look it's better to just wear false lashes but if you're like an all-natural girl and you love to just be able to get up and go oh they're wonderful and they're beautiful so but what i was going to say is um when I took took them off and I started wearing mascara again, I noticed that even though I had not been opening my mascaras and using them, they had dried out. So that, that must have been what happened to this one. And I, I need to get some more. Okay, Color Proof um, Clear It Up Detox Shampoo. I have a couple of these little, here's a picture of the bottle. Um, I love this Color Proof line. 
and this is the like detox shampoo like a clarifying shampoo and one of these little packets will last two times and tammy had sent me a couple of these and i really really liked it it seemed to really clean my hair and <sighs> should have known get rid of all the buildup but it um hey baby you gonna come see us yes and give me a little rub i know and um <laughs> oh god please don't sharpen your claws on my chair look at all that look at those claws out oh gosh um anyway love it it didn't strip my hair it didn't make it feel like you know tangly or crunchy or anything i just really really liked it quo cotton pads i have been fortunate enough to have some of you send me these quo cotton squares they're even better than the white cotton clouds they're just like the shiseido ones and they're really nice so i really love those too and what do you know another package of the cotton clouds and i use two of those at least two of those every night with my bioderma and um brooke uses them too Okay, this is something you'll see over and over again, but it's my very, very favorite uh, toothpaste. It's the Sensodyne Pro Namel. This is the Daily Protection Mint Essence, and this is my favorite one. I think Brooke and Will like the multi-action, but I just love it. It's good for sensitive teeth. It's real soft consistency. It's not as um, pasty. And it just seems to, the best thing I like about it, I like the taste. And when I go to start brushing my teeth, it spreads around your mouth real evenly instead of just kind of globbing or falling out of your mouth, you know, without you even using it. It's just wonderful. It's my favorite. I don't know what I will ever do if they get rid of it. I just love it. Um, Purity Cleanser. Can you see that cat hair going everywhere? <clears throat> They're worth it. <laughs> They're kind of like uh, extensions or gel nails. They're worth it. But um, the Purity Cleanser, that's what we use. And several of you told me to get the big pump bottle from QVC. And that's what I did. And I love it. We all love it. We all use it. Um, John uses it. We all use it in my shower. So <clears throat> love that. Uh, this is the Exfoliating Body Scrub, Body Scrub from Clarins. It's a good one. Um, I like a lot of them. But this is a good one. It's not real scrubby. But it is good. Okay, <clears throat> sorry, I'm about to go get a drink. I'm losing my voice. This, these are the Kiss Trio individual lashes. Um, they're all gone, but I like these. And Brooke really likes these. She doesn't wear false lashes like the whole strip, but a lot of times she'll put like one or two or a little partial lash. Or what? I, what we do a lot of times is when I cut my lashes to fit my eyes, I will save the little piece that I cut off. And I'll put them, um, and we have a special spot for her to look in my drawer. And she will use those for the ends of her eyelashes. And she loves when I like cut a pair like these, you know, the really nice ones, or those, um, the Vegas Nay by Eyelore. She loves when I cut those because those leave her a big, you know, little chunk to put on the ends of her eyes. So that is all of this. So I'm going to get a drink and I'll be right back. Oh my goodness, now we're getting to the nitty-gritty here. Let's see. Okay, I'm going to try to scoot along. Let me click down so you can see a little bit. Okay, <laughs> let's see. I'll just put it up here and then I'll pause and empty it out. <laughs> okay, Bioderma. Love it. You can get it now at um, Beautylish, and I'm sure you can order it other places online, like Amazon or something. Um, Beautylish is where I think I've gotten the last bottle or two. I think they sent me some when they started carrying it. And then before that, I was lucky that some of you in Canada had sent it to me. But I have tried several of them. The only other one that I really use and like is the Dior. Um, the one that I can't remember what it's called now. But it is not quite as mild and it's got a pretty, you know, a scent, a Dior scent. So... Okay, the La Vanilla La Licious Sugar Lavender Sugar Scrub. The best sugar scrub on the planet. It's expensive. I was selling it and carrying it on my website, but it's difficult because for those of you that ordered it out of the country, I, sometimes I paid <laughs> to send it to you because I don't charge a lot in shipping. And I've really had some problems lately with shipping. 
out of the country and then I've had people ask me for the tracking number and if I send it to you with a tracking number it's going to cost $25 or so so for me to send stuff for $12.99 I don't get a tracking number. I can track it to the end of our country to customs, but I can't track it to your country. So I don't know. I'm having to reevaluate my whole shipping out of the U.S. because um, it's, it just stresses me out so bad. When I come home and I get an email of someone that is asking for their package or hadn't gotten their package, it just, John says, calm down. Nobody's going to die without their earrings, but it freaks me out so bad. So I'm trying to cut down on my stress level this next year on the little things like that that really bother me and keep me awake at night um, because I get so many emails and if I get three or four angry emails it just is it ruins my night so anyway I don't carry this anymore because of the shipping and in the summer to it is the weirdest consistency and that's what's so neat about this it comes like in a I don't even know how to just how to describe how it comes it's in like a not a foam but it's I don't know I don't know how to describe it um let's see exfoliate thin skin cells um I don't know how to even describe it the consistency is so different almost like a whipped almost like a whipped yogurt and you know if the if the whipped yogurt gets unwhipped how it's not that good well that's how this is and if you send it in the heat like even when they send it shipped it to me they send it with cold packs and I just can't do that for everything so anyway but if you can get this um, one of my subscribers Lisa from Canada is the first one that sent me this and I think Lori sent me some it is the best scrub it's just amazing okay um, these are my favorite little q-tip um, applicators they're the pointed ones I like these for um, putting on my false eyelashes and then I like that they're pointed because I'll go right over and kind of put the make sure the lashes are down and um, I really like those and they're um, wound real tight and so here is another box of those and um, goodness okay toothpaste toothpaste you're gonna die tooth okay toothpaste 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 <laughs> toothpaste 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 oh god this is gonna be funny okay we'll have to count those so there's already one <laughs> I don't know when the last time I did this was okay so let's get rid of the, some of this stuff I knew this wasn't gonna be easy it, it's just kind of yucky you know going through your trash <laughs> because some of it still got like little bits of stuff on it okay I've already told you about how much I love this um, my subscriber Carol just sent me hers because she thought it was too harsh it is I mean it's um, it's template it's glow therapeutics 10% glycolic cleanser with glycolic acid if your skin has not been um, brought up to that point you this can really do a number on you. My skin has been taken to that point where I use Ret Refisa Retin-A and I use this in the shower and I've just got it down to a science. You know, this is what I love and John loves it too. And like I said before, he does his head with it and it got rid of several of those brown patches on his head, um, you know, that bald men get from playing golf and going to the beach and he doesn't like wearing a hat. And I put my, a couple of jackets over here. Um, and now Sassy's gonna have to go sit on them and get her real quick. You know what it is? It's the reflections. They, um, I don't know if your cats or dogs do that, but they will, I mean, chase a reflection forever. So, okay, let me get my trash bag going here. Okay, Bumble and Bumble spray to mode. You guys know I used to, I could not go without this. And I think it's $22 a can or 20, might even be $29 a can. And I, for years, I went through can after can of this. Now that I'm using the other one, the um, the strengthening one, I just, and I used to have to use this at night and then another one in the morning to actually hold it where my other one does both. So, you know, that's good, but another toothpaste. We'll count those at the end. Uh, Fix Plus, I just bought another one of these this week. And I do have like the Smashbox one. I've got um, 
let's see another one too that I like um, it's one that one of my friends or one of my subscribers Lupe sent me from um, anyway I'll put the name up down here I like it too and you know I've used a lot of them but I always go back to fix plus from Mac because I like the sprayer it's just consistent it's just what I like I'm just used to it okay here's another thing of the kiss lashes they come in this and you can see we put the lash glue right on here and then use it from there um, this is the Jergens wet skin moisturizer my favorite is the coconut oil and love this stuff I seems like I liked it a little bit more in the summer um, now I've been using shower oils I've actually been using the one that Amy sent me and before that I had used the Bobbi Brown and then before that I had used the Jergens that I told you so it seems like I like maybe the oil more in the winter time but I still I use this one day like last week or week before last and I thought you know I think I like that it just felt like summer to me and it might be in my head but anyway really love this you put it um, right what I usually do is turn the shower off step out put my hair in the towel and then I step back in and do my shower oil or this that way you're still wet but you're not soaking wet so you feel like you know you still get more benefits okay this is a Vita Bath green tea and sage body wash um, I, I, don't, I think maybe either Chef Cafe or Tammy a gift package had this in there and I liked it um, goodness gracious hold on they're like children I tell you and then they then Chanel just monkey tailed off <laughs> okay here's another bite of bath this is dreamy pink frosting I think Tammy sent me these and I think I remember really loving that one and um, this is my favorite deodorant has been for years now it's the Donna Karen cashmere mist now I have been using the Nivea pearl that I got from Amazon the Asian one the one that um, just smells so good and it's really works just as well as this one it just has a different scent and it's a little bit more believe it or not it's a little bit more perfumey than even this this you smell when it goes on but you really don't ever smell it again the other one I um, I like it and I still use it I just kind of kind of like my brow products or something I just grab the first one I see but um, the other one you can smell because even one day Brooke was beside me and she said you smell good what is it it's a familiar scent and I was like I don't know and then we decided it was that that deodorant and she uses that too and she likes it another bioderma um this I put this in here and I remember thinking when I put it in here I really want to tell you about this it is the duo lash glue in dark and this is what I love it's what I use and um, last time I went to Sally's I believe they had buy two Ardell lashes get the lash glue so that's when I bought like the pixies and I think the double wispies which I loved those together and I got the Ardell dark lash glue and it was the latex kind and everything used that stuff like three times and one day I even had to stop and buy lash glue because they would pop up so it is not as good as duo and one day I opened the eye lure lashes and you know it comes with that little thing of lash glue in there and I thought well I'll just use this real quick you know it's lash glue and they popped up on, on the inside too so I just really really believe duo is the best and um oh that's not very flattering light is it? I look like the grim reaper um I'm not gonna worry about it <laughs> you guys know what I look like <laughs> I might look like the Grim Reaper who knows anyway so that is that I, I really like the duo the best so here are Coco lashes in goddess I must have I can't remember what they look like here is another of my cotton clouds here are my favorite lashes ever the 120 s self-adhesive and I usually order these from Madame Madeline but you can find them every once in a while I can find them at CVS or Sally's but not on a regular basis but they're the 120 s self-adhesive and it's the first time I wear them I do use the self-adhesive but then I start having to put glue on them but they're just beautiful lashes and then that there's something about that strip of black and that self-adhesive strip that just is pretty and easy to put on my eyes and I usually only have to cut off like one little clump 
Sometimes I cut it off of the end. Sometimes I cut it off of the beginning. But um, I really love these. If I had to say my favorite lashes, it would be those. And then for dramatic lashes, it would be these that I have on today. It would be the House of Lashes Iconic. And let me see if I move um, my camera a certain way. Um, hmm, let me see if I put the overhead light on, if it'll get rid of all those shadows. Oh, that might have helped a little bit, but anyway, we'll go on with it. <laughs> okay, um, another thing of the Kiss Lashes trios. Another of the Jergens Wet Skin. This is the Coconut. Um, Lash Blast or the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara. I did like this. This is one I would repurchase. Loved this. And I was so sad that it dried out on me. But I'll probably repurchase this again. It's the Stila Huge um, Extreme Mascara. I've heard that this combined with the primer that goes with it is great. But I really did like this. Okay. Another thing of the clouds. Um, another thing of the nail polish remover wipes, um, more of the self-adhesive lashes, um, Lash Blast Clump Crusher. I always get, I don't use waterproof, but yet CoverGirl, any of these Lash Blast formulas, the different variations, they don't run. It's one of the only ones that doesn't transfer or run, but yet it comes off with Bioderma. And that's why I love it so much. And I love the brush. This one is a wonderful one to use under like the Volume Chanel or any of the real wet formulas like that Stila or YSL Baby Doll. Any of those that are just go on really wet. You might want to put something like this on under it and let it dry for a minute. That way the other ones, um, this spreads them out really good. And the other ones will weigh it down unless you have something like this on it or a primer. So, anyway, kind of like a primer mascara. Bioderma. <laughs> um, this is another hairspray that I used to use. I love the way this smells. It smells like a, a men's um, cologne, kind of, or men's deodorant or something like that. A man. And I do like this. It's kind of just, it's just about as expensive as the spray de mode. And I used it in about the same way. But now the other one has taken its place. Okay. Oh goodness, um, another one of the detox samples from Colorproof, another Lash Blast, um, this was that Jergens oil, I used every drop, almost every drop, every drop I could, and it's the Shea Beauty Oil, and I really liked that. Uh, Studio Sculpt Lash, um, I liked it okay, nothing, I'll, I probably wouldn't buy it again. This is something that I buy over and over, and... <sighs> It's just the best. No matter what I buy, this and the MAC Prep and Prime Radiant Rose and the um, Charlotte Tilbury number two. These little under eye brushes, and this is the Maybelline Dream Lumi in Radiant, and it's one of my favorite ones. This is the remainder of that Ardell lash glue that I could not stand. Um, Tarte uh, Lights Camera Lashes. This is gonna be like a mascara review too. I like this a lot. Matter of fact, this is one that I kind of forget about and then I like so much, but all of them dried out on me. Another Lash Blast. Um, Lanza Trauma Treatment. This is what has saved my hair. It is the only reason it's probably growing and not breaking off. Love it. And I use it every single time I do my hair. And that's all I use. Sometimes I'll put like one of my hair oils in the ends of my hair before I curl it or use my flat iron. Um, I've been using my curling iron, but last night I used my Babyliss um, one and a half inch flat iron. Okay, the Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil. This is Sweet Cranberry. My friend Emily, I believe, sent this to me, and since then I bought more. I've bought, I bought a box around Christmas, I think, for $25 that had three different ones in it. It's wonderful. Very good oil or whatever, not oil, but um, body lotion. The Chanel Eye Makeup Remover. It's expensive, like, I think it's like 30 some dollars. It lasts forever. It's kind of like one of those bi-phase, and I love it. It's one of my very favorite ones. Works like 
I mean, it just works so nice. I love the um, the end of it. It's got like the real teeny little um, squeezy end. And a lot of times you can just squeeze a little bit on the end of a Q-tip. Like if you want to, you know, correct your wing or something. And I just really like it. though. Okay, this is Living Proof Frizz Conditioner. I think it's one that I had gotten in a packet that I just, I like all that Living Proof stuff. My favorite is the Perfect Hair Day. And I like the leave-in, just that regular perfect hair day um, that I showed you not too long ago. I can't remember what we were talking about. Hair products? I can't remember, but anyway. Another Fix Plus. I'm holding those out for Back to Mac. Um, my favorite brow gel. Oh, okay. This is New Brow. I thought it was my brow gel, but this is the New Brow sample that I got. If you want your brows to fill in... That's what I used. Now, that was when I was going for that big, a bolder brow. This works so well. Right now I'm using the new lash and it is a um, lash growth. I don't think it's in the same category as like Latisse because you don't need a prescription. You can get it from just like Nordstrom or Amazon or something. I get mine from Nordstrom. That way I feel like I know it's fresh and I don't know. Sometimes you feel like, I don't know. I get it from Nordstrom. And, um, it's, I think, but it works. It really works. It's bringing my lashes back from my lash extensions and um, the new brow works too. Um, this is funny. This is my last tube of Rafisa. I squeezed and squeezed and then I ended up cutting it and then squeezing some because you only need a pea-sized amount anyway. So you can squeeze enough out of there for a whole night. And um, I had to wait for my med spa to order it. To get it, it's $85 a tube, but it lasts a pretty long time, and it's the only skincare that I use at night. I mean, I wash, and then I have been using that cucumber eye gel cream that I told you guys I've been loving, and I use this, and that's it. Okay, here's another. Um, this was the Frizz Dismiss Conditioner, and I think I had cut the ends off because it was hard to get it out of these little tubes. Red Cherry Lashes number 48. I like number 43s. I think 48s might have been too long. Let's see. Micro Delivery Exfoliating Wash. I used to use this a lot and put it on my Clarisonic, but um, I haven't gotten it in a long time. I don't know why. I guess I just have felt like the Purology on my Clarisonic was enough. Another Rafisa. I think this was like a little sample size that uh, Brianna sent me when I got some from her. Um, Ultra Liner Maybelline. I love this. This is the brown and I wish that it were solid. It was a little bit like, it wasn't opaque when I put it on, but I like the black one. Esquito Lashes. These are the Lash Lorette. These are my favorites. And I was just thinking yesterday, I need to dig out my, their mink lashes. And a lot of times you can't, you're not supposed to put mascara on them. And, but I need to try doubling these up. I think I would really like them because I just like, you know, more oomph than these provide without mascara. But if you want a natural lash and they're real good for curved eyes, round eyes like mine, I really do. And the company is so nice. They have been so generous with me and not asked for a thing. They, another thing of the Kiss Lashes. Um, more Living Proof. This is the Frizz Shampoo with a nice little piece of my hair on it. Another Rafisa, another small one. You can see, look at that, how much I squished it down to get all of it out of there. Um, let's see, Dental Floss. I usually just, um, I like the, um, I like the Glide is probably the best. And you know, I've been using those little Glide picks that I told you about. But these are the flosses that I just get from the dentist. And I... You know, love to floss my teeth. Um, another, this is the end of that Rafisa that I cut off. Let's see. Nubile Paint Pot from MAC. I love the color, but this one was real dried out. And um, let's see. Another Glow Therapeutics, the wash. Um, this is the Eye Calligraphy from Laura Geller. This is the eyeliner. I believe Danielle sent this to me and I really liked it, but I used it until it, um, the end of it kind of broke down and it wasn't as black. Um, let's see, a Burberry 
mascara. I believe the one I like is the, um, this is the Curve Lash. I like the Dramatic the best. Then my last but not least, something I wanted to tell you about. I'll put my bag in there. First, let's count my toothpaste. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there's probably no telling how many other ones I've just thrown away, like in the kitchen or whatever. So, um, obviously, I like that. And then this is what really made me want to do an empties video. This is the Smashbox uh, Gloss Stick Brow Pencil in Blonde. And I just had to buy another one. We ran in Ulta last night. Brooke went to, I took Brooke to Morgan to get her hair done, her hair colored and trimmed. And we ran in Ulta and I had to grab another one of these. Out of all the brow products that I have, I have probably every color of Anastasia, It, Burberry, um, Nude Sticks, all the brow products that I have. I love this one. It's so quick and easy. I don't need brow gel and I love the color. It's blonde. I love the glossiness of it and um, I just want to tell you that. It's just really rare that I were to run out of something and really, really miss it. Now, I have bought several of the Fling, MAC Fling, but those break off so bad. This is just goes on so smooth um, and it has like the brush on the end. I just really, really like it. Today I have on um, Johnny Cash. I haven't done this in a while. I have on one of my favorite blouses. It reminds me kind of of the James purse, but this is from Express. It's one of their, they carry these every year and it's one of their little blouses. I can't remember what it's called. They come in every color and they have some really good um, patterns and stuff too. And so that's the shirt I've got on. These are the Banana Republic jeans that I showed you I got from the sale. These are some of my favorite boots. They are the Stuart Weitzman High Times. And um, I just switched into my Balenciaga, the first one I got, which is the classic, um, classic city bag. And if you get the, and then I will probably just go ahead and complete the look with my um, Banana Republic jacket. This is the um, moto that I just got, I showed you after Christmas. And, um, so it's just, I love it. I love, okay, I thought I would, I just was thinking I'm going to get out my blotterati thing here and see, and blot some and see how much it, okay, I'm still going to glow, but I love this thing. Blotterati, it's by Beauty Blender, and I did not powder today. I ended up using the um, Makeup Forever sticks. And I wanted to see what, I love the creaminess of it and the, the finish, and I just did not want to powder over it. So I didn't, and you can kind of tell. But I'm always experimenting. And um, so for accessories, I have on um, some, I don't know if I've ever shown you these hoops, but I love the gunmetal hoops from Sheila Fajal. And they are this, I can't even remember what they're called. I'll put the link down below, but... I love them, and I also have the favorite hoops in gunmetal. And um, I've got on my—I haven't worn this in a while. This is Sheila Fajal. I guess I must be missing Sheila, but this is the Diamond Dagger, and I just thought it would look pretty with this neckline. Um, my nail polish needs to be just reapplied, but it is a beautiful one. It's the Marc Jacobs Evelyn, one of my favorites. Colleen Rothschild sent this to me. A long time ago in the formula it's just wonderful it's Marc Jacobs has good nail polishes good products I can honestly say that foundation the remarkable is one of my it, it would be if I had to get ready to go walk the red carpet or go do something so important that would be the one I'd put on because it's the most um, reliable I think that I like and just easy to work with and I know what I'm going to get and not too matte, not too shiny to everything. So anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>